Malaria kills more than 400,000 people every year, most of them under the age of five. That's one child every two minutes. And despite huge advances in medicine, the best means of protection against the parasite that causes the disease is a bed net. But that could be about to change. Vaccination is one of the triumphs of modern medicine, and now scientists have the most deadly parasite in their sights, the first jab against malaria. It's a public health historical event that for the first time, a malaria vaccine can be safely and efficaciously deployed to save lives of African children. The vaccine called Mosquirix primes the immune system to fight the malaria parasite the moment it's been injected into the blood by a mosquito bite. It stops the parasite infecting liver cells where it would normally mature and multiply before causing potentially deadly disease. This is the first vaccine against a human parasite. Why? Well, even though it's only a single-celled organism, it's a good deal more complex than a virus or bacteria. For example, COVID is caused by a relatively simple virus. It's got a straightforward target on its surface, and COVID vaccines teach the immune system to attack it. But the malaria parasite is able to slip past the immune system by using a combination of stealth and deception. This is orders of magnitude more complex than a COVID vaccine or any of the other vaccines we have today. And the world had never had a vaccine against a human parasite, not just against malaria, against any human parasite. Clinical trials on young children show it prevents three out of 10 severe cases. Now that might not sound that impressive, but malaria is so serious that the World Health Organization still believes it would prevent tens of thousands of deaths every year. Here's the really good news. Mosquirix is just the first attempt. Another vaccine called R21 Matrix M is being developed by the same Oxford University team that developed the AstraZeneca COVID jab. A trial on several hundred children in Burkina Faso showed earlier this year that it prevented 77% of cases. A bigger study is now being planned. Malaria, a disease caused by a parasite that's killed hundreds of millions of people, may finally have met its match.